Hi everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I've partnered with the Destination Beauty Channel to bring you this Get Ready With Me makeup and hair tutorial for a girls night out. I hope you all enjoy this look as much as I did creating it and let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna prep our skin with the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Face and Neck Moisturizer. It is just as important to moisturize your face as it is your neck, so we're using this anti-wrinkle firming cream so that it helps prevent any sort of aging signs and it's just gonna help keep the moisture in our skin all day long. Next for primer, I'm taking this Magic Perfecting base in this little tub here and I just take a little bit and I love the really whipped texture of this product. It's going to help smooth out any lines and fill in the pores and it acts as the perfect primer before we go in with our foundation and concealer. And for foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the shade Natural Buff with a damp beauty blender sponge. This is an oil-free foundation, so if you're looking for something like that and that's on the affordable side, it's a great drugstore foundation and it has every single shade imaginable and it matches your undertones perfectly. I love that it accommodates everyone in this foundation line. Now my eyebrows need a little bit of help and I'm going to use the Benefit Brow Kit in the shade Dark. I like my eyebrows to really make a statement when I go out. I find it makes a big difference in photographs and especially if I do a more smokier eye. So I'm just going to fill them in with this brow powder. Just like priming my face, I'm going to prime my eyes as well with the NARS Shadow Proof Eye Primer. So you just want to swipe that on the eyelids and just rub it in with your finger up to your brow bone. Here I am taking on a flat shader brush. This is the color Vex by MAC, a nice silvery tone color. I'm just gonna pack this on the inner corners of my eyes as well onto the lids. And you wanna do a patting motion so that the color shows up even more. And with a big fluffy brush, I am taking the color Cork by MAC and gonna work this above the Vex color we just placed. So you just wanna work this into your crease to add some warmth and dimension to your eyes. Take that same color on a small pencil brush and take cork, just carry it underneath the eyes really close to the lower lashes. Last eyeshadow color guys, this is Satin Taupe by MAC and we are going to place this on the outer V of our eyes to just smoke this look out a little bit. And I'm using a tapered brush to help me get that control. And so you just want to take your time and add this nice shimmer color to the outer corner. Take that same color again on a pencil brush and add it to the lower lash line right on top of that warm brown color we did. Next, I've taken the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 16 hour eyeliner and this eyeliner is gonna go right inside the waterline. I chose to use this one so that it doesn't move because the waterline can really tend to run the eyeliner in there. So I chose an eyeliner that will stay put all day long and I'm gonna put this on the tight line as well, which is that really scary place above your eyelids so just be careful here and I'm also going to take this it's a retractable pencil which is nice I get a lot of control I'm gonna do a slight wing with the tip of this infallible eyeliner and just gonna give my eyes a little bit of a winged out cat eye look Here I am taking the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Hydrofuge Mascara and look how big and massive this wand is. Oh, I love this mascara. It's such an old favorite and I thought this would be perfect since I'm not doing false eyelashes. I would create a very voluminous eye mascara look without even using false eyelashes because you don't need them with this mascara. Taking a full coverage concealer by MAC, this is the shade NC25 and it's a nice yellow undertone to create a bit of a highlighted look underneath the eyes and this is going to really conceal any sort of blemishes or dark circles because it is so full coverage and you just want to blend that out really nicely. Next, I am taking the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Nude Beige. All oily skin people, 
here is your new holy grail item this is a powder that does not go anywhere up to 16 hours for me I have dry skin so I'm mainly just putting a little bit on the areas I don't want to crease especially underneath the eye area to bring some life back into my face, I am taking the L'Oreal Paris True Match Crayon Concealer in the shade Medium Deep. And if you guys have seen a couple of my last tutorials, you know that I have loved this product for contouring and giving my skin more of a bronzed look. It kind of does it all in one. And since it's so creamy, it looks like skin and it's super easy to blend with a synthetic brush. And the color suits me so well to give me that natural tan. Almost done with the face, I'm just going to finish off the cheekbones with a little bit of Max Blush Prism and I'm just going to smile and just rub those on the apples of the cheeks and try not to get too carried away here because I do love my blush. Here I am taking the L'Oreal Paris Colorish Extraordinaire Liquid Lipstick in Fuchsia Orchestra. Look how vibrant this color is. You do not need a lipstick underneath this or a lip gloss on top. It does the job of both and it's so long wearing. And it's a girl's night out after all, so I had to choose the boldest color in the collection. And this vibrant pink is just a head turner. I love this and I get so many compliments when I wear it. Last but not least for makeup, I'm taking the Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Oh boy, I do not like touch-ups, you guys, so a few sprays of this. It's lightweight, it's easy, and keeps your makeup from smudging all day long. We're going to protect our hair with the Advanced Hairstyle Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. And the best way to apply this is just spray it throughout the uh, midsection of the hair to the ends of your hair and then just brush it out. When your hair is either damp or close to dry, I typically do it. And you just want to brush this out so your hair is nice and smooth. We're not going to be straightening our hair today, but I do like to use this to protect my hair and make it look more smooth with the curling iron. And here is the curling iron we're going in with, and it's the Sidu uh, 1 inch Pro Clipless Curling Iron. We want it on the setting that's the highest so that we can go in and curl our head entirely. And it's going to be quick with this high heat setting. And I curl my hair away from my face. Once you get that curl, you just want to run your fingers lightly through it. It's going to be hot, so you want to be careful. But we're just going to curl our entire head. Uh, you don't even need to separate it. I kind of like the randomness of it. So just take your time here and curl your whole head at your own pace. Once you have curled your hair, make sure you run your fingers through it so that it breaks up the curls and they're not too tight, so it'll give a lot of volume to your hair. And here, take the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray, a very non-sticky hairspray that's going to keep your style and be able to like run your fingers through it without it being too crunchy, and you're going to have nice movement throughout your hair. So there you have it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video on this hair and makeup tutorial to go out with the girls. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, I will list all the products I mentioned in this video in the description box below. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also the destination beauty channel as well which I will link in the description box below you will see a lot more beauty tutorials including me on there so make sure you guys check it out especially this last video I did showing two looks using two of my favorite mascaras click the screen now and it'll take you right to the video thank you guys so much again and I look forward to seeing you next time